Imagine you are standing in the middle of a vast forest. In front of you are dense rows of trees with no signposts, no phone signal. You take out a small compass. Instantly, the needle spins and then stops, pointing in one specific direction, north. The wonder here is this. No matter where you stand on Earth, on a high mountain, across the desert, or in the middle of the wide ocean, the compass needle always points in the same direction. But why is that? Why doesn't it point east, west, or spin randomly? This is the mystery we are about to uncover today. To understand why, we need to know how a compass works. A simple compass is essentially just a small magnet mounted on a pivot. This magnet has two ends, one called the North Pole, the other the South Pole. The basic rule of magnets is opposite poles attract while like poles repel. So when we hold a compass, this tiny magnetic needle tries to align itself with the direction of a massive magnetic force acting upon it. And where does that magnetic force come from? It comes from the Earth itself. Few people realize that our planet Earth acts like a giant magnet. This happens thanks to Earth's core, which contains a vast amount of iron and nickel. In the outer core, these metals exist in molten form and are constantly moving. As this molten metal flows, it creates electric currents. And these electric currents, in turn, generate what we call Earth's magnetic field. You can imagine Earth as a giant sphere with a bar magnet running through its center. Magnetic field lines spread out from the poles, surrounding Earth, and extending into space. It is this magnetic field that serves as the guide for the tiny needle inside the compass. So, why does the compass needle point north and not somewhere else? When you place a small magnet near a larger magnet, the north pole of the small magnet is pulled toward the south pole of the larger magnet. Here's the interesting part. The geographic north pole of Earth, the place we call the north pole, is actually located near Earth's magnetic south pole. It sounds backwards, but this is a scientific convention. Because the end of the compass needle is called the North Pole, it gets pulled toward Earth's magnetic South Pole, which lies near the geographic North Pole. That is why the compass needle appears to point north. In other words, the compass points north, not because of some mystery within itself, but because it is being pulled by Earth's magnetic field. At this point, you might think Earth's magnetic poles, the North and South Poles, are fixed and unchanging. But the truth is not that simple. Scientists have discovered that Earth's magnetic poles are constantly shifting, moving at a rate of several tens of kilometers each year. Currently, the magnetic North Pole is moving from Canada towards Siberia at an astonishing speed. Not only that, but in the past millions of years, Earth's magnetic poles have flipped many times. That means, at certain points in history, if a compass had existed, its needle would have pointed south instead of north. This has led scientists to wonder, if one day the poles flip again, how will it affect our lives? That is a question still left unanswered. Since ancient times, long before GPS, digital maps, or satellites, the compass was humanity's most important navigation tool. At sea, sailors used the compass to find their way across vast oceans with no landmarks. On land, explorers, forest trekkers, and even military scouts relied on the compass to avoid getting lost. Even today, despite modern technology, the compass still holds its value. It requires no batteries, no phone signal, and works anywhere on Earth. That tiny needle has helped shape human history, opening the way to exploration, adventure, and great journeys. So now we have the answer. The compass needle always points north because it is drawn by Earth's immense magnetic field. Earth functions as a natural magnet, and the compass simply follows the laws of physics. But the journey of discovery does not end here. Imagine this. If one day Earth's magnetic field were to disappear completely, the compass needle would no longer point north. How would humans find their way? What would happen to migratory birds and animals that navigate using Earth's magnetic field? This is one of the many hypothetical scenarios that science continues to study. And it reminds us that the things we take for granted, like the tiny needle of a compass, may actually hold within them one of nature's greatest secrets. 